Hi everyone, good evening and welcome to the channel. My name is Manish Tiwari and in this video we are going to talk about 10 important tips for your senior DevOps interview. So these interviews are very much mandatory and you should focus on or you should adopt this particular uh, 10 important tips what I am going to share. You should understand these tips and when you work on these tips like when you adopt this, when you work on this definitely you are going to crack your senior devops in uh, senior devops engineer interview and you are going to get a good organization you are you are going to get a good offer from a good organization or i can say a handsome package from a good organization it might be a product based it might be a service based so we have like delivered our result as well and uh, like from our batches and they have joined product based company and they have joined service based company as well so based on the result, I'm providing you these tips and based on my experience, I'm providing you these tips which is going to help you to crack your next senior DevOps interview and that too for a product based company, for a service based company too. So let's get into the tips and uh, we will go one by one about all the tips what I have listed down and I'm going to share with you. But before that, I would like to uh, request you to share and subscribe this channel because the number the subs uh, subscribers number only uh, motivate me to create all these contents whatever the content i am creating and uh, i have been eagerly waiting to grow and uh, your small contribution your a small uh, subscribe uh, button click will help me to keep uh, motivated will help me and my team to work upon all these things and to uh, keep uh, posting the content the free content uh, on the channel so let's uh, go towards uh, and uh, the tips what I do have right now. So the first thing is that when you are appearing for the senior DevOps interview, think about a bigger picture. Do not think that you are going to get a question that what is VPC point, what is transit gateway, how it is utilized. Correct? You are not going to get these kind of questions. What kind of questions are you going to get and what kind of questions will are expected or will be asked to you during the interview. That is something related to architecture. Correct? Like how if you have to deploy a application for a customer, so how architecture will you create like your application, the customer application will be utilizing the notification system for that it is going to utilize AWS SNS and it also requires the database. So for that it is going to utilize AWS RDS instance. So what kind of database engine you will select, how you will integrate your SNS service, how will you integrate your SQS service. How will you deploy that particular application on EKS whether you are going to select a private subnet, you are going to select as a public subnet, which kind of load balancer you are going to utilize, whether you will deploy load balancer into a public subnet or into a private subnet. So each and every component you need to understand and you need to understand the architecture. How will you design this particular architecture in terms of security, in terms of cost, in terms of use case, in terms of requirement. So there might be different parameters. So you have to always think about a bigger picture. You do not need to think about a smaller picture. What is this? What is this? Why it is utilized? There might be a question that why you are going to utilize EKS rather than ECS because ECS is also provided by the AWS cloud only and it also provides the similar kind of feature. Correct? It's uh, it is for the Kubernetes only. Correct? It's just equivalent to the Kubernetes. So why will you use EKS rather than ECS? Why will you use Lambda function rather than EC2? Correct? So there can be a different scenario based questions as well. So you have to think about a bigger picture and then you have to work on the architectural thing and you have to explain your answer in the similar way. Coming to the second uh, tip that is be strong in CI CD. So when it comes to the application deployment, your infrastructure deployment, how the CI part will work, how CD part will work. Correct? So you need to think about that as well. You have to think about, you have to uh, like learn about parallel uh, stages which uh, happens in the Jenkins pipeline how a parallel strategy will create how will you create the conditional deployment like based on this particular flag if it become true just suppose that uh, whenever secondary uh, the environment variable value which is called as uh, secondary infra required or not if it is true secondary infrastructure will be created the otherwise it won't be created code will be there but based on the condition it will be executed so that is the second tip you have to be a strong in CI CD part, you have to do the hands on as well. Third one is no IAC, IAC infrastructure as a code. So, we are talking about the Terraform here or the cloud formation, or if you are working with the Azure ARM uh, service card. So, 
how the infrastructure will be provisioned how can you segregate the different uh, values related file for the specific customer how can you like reorganize the code and everything infrastructure code and other code correct so that you need to understand you have to also think about how can you reuse the code that means you can develop the different kind of modules like rds bpc ec2 im security group cognito s3 and many more correct so you have to go for each and everything coming to the fourth tip that is related to your container and kubernetes when you have worked with the cloud when you have worked with the terraform you are going to deploy your application on kubernetes system on the eks cluster correct so you have to understand the container concepts you have to understand the docker uh, concepts you have to understand the kubernetes concept so that you can do the troubleshooting you can understand uh, you can understand uh, understand the concepts or the application which is already running which is already existing correct uh, in your current project so you have to be a strong in that part as well containers and kubernetes system then finally when you have done everything the last point comes the monitoring and logging that is your uh, point number fifth correct tips number five so monitoring and logging solution also you have to think about how can you uh, go for the nine address agent how can you uh, like go for the elk system how can you uh, do the monitoring utilizing the grafana how can you utilize locky tempo prometheus the different kind of data sources which are available for the monitoring solution so you have to go for each and every uh, like uh, concepts for the monitoring and solutions as well correct you should be having the diversified knowledge so at least have a expertise on one tool then coming to the next square tip that is your cloud architecture how you can design a best solution for your customer you can utilize aws rds you can utilize aws eks you can utilize aws ec2 lambda function each and everything but how can you provide a best solution so that customer does not pay much you the your solution what you are going to provide that is really more concerned towards the security that is more concerned towards the cost as well correct so customer gets it gets the best but at the lower price that you have to think with the higher security correct so cloud architectural design also you have to think about then coming to the next uh, tip that is uh, tip number 7 security and compliance the images what you are deploying to your application to your eks cluster that should be not that should not be vulnerable correct the iam rules and permission what you are passing for the different services that should be uh, fine grained access correct uh, the controlled access the controlled permission you should pass you should apply scp you should monitor each and everything which is being uh, accessed in your system correct so that security and compliance thing also you need to be aware of that is uh, tip number 7 coming to the tip number 8 uh, incident management and problem solution you can say or the sla related things correct change management thing so whenever you are working as a devops or the sre you have to think you have to be aware about incident management if a production issue comes how will you do the troubleshooting how will you uh, like note down each and everything so how will you create rc how will you create a post mortem how will you uh, report it to the your stakeholders the different stakeholders correct how will you um, note down or your operation team will note down the different timeline correct so you have to work on that too how can pro, in pros uh, in terms of process how will you proceed if it's the production issue will you go directly and will you uh, will you fix it or you are going for any approval if it's the deployment related thing are you going to deploy it directly or you are going for any approval correct how much time will it take and how, like uh, when can you roll back so depends on the different solution uh, depends on the different scenario you can have a different kind of solution so you have to be aware about incident management thing as well then coming to the ninth number of tips soft skills and your personal uh, leadership quality soft skill and leadership quality that means being a senior devops uh, engineer are you uh, are you able to handle team are you able to mentor your resources like if uh, tomorrow day after tomorrow once you are hired two reports are assigned to you that means you have the peer, report you have to take um, people correct so can you do the mentorship can you read them can you uh, help them to uh, skill up so those kind of leadership quality do you have correct so that kind of thing is also uh, checked while you are appearing for the interview so you have to be expert on that uh, thing too you should be at least aware you should, at least you can explain these things at, uh, during the interview that you do have this kind of personality correct? coming to the important and last tip that is hands on so what happens uh, sometimes you receive that uh, during the interview while you are appearing for the interview you get this kind of question or this kind of thing that now you have to write the jenkins pipeline by sharing the screen 
you have to write down the deployment.yml file by sharing the screen you have to write down the terraform code to create one ec2 instance and security group for that how will you do that so you have to practice each and everything deploying a kubernetes application deploying a like running a email a container uh, writing your deployment.yml writing your uh, terraform code the modules how can you write the modules how can you utilize the data block how can you write for each block how can you write conditional block how can you uh, like uh, do the troubleshooting with the uh, kubectl commands how can you do, run the aws cli command this kind how can you write a jenkins pipeline the different kind of stages so these kind of things you need to practice while appearing for the interview just prepare it for one or two months and then you will be able to crack the interview you will get a package like when you have a four or five years of experience you are going to get a 20 to 30 lpa package correct so this is the current market and you can get it correct so based on your current uh, package as well but you can get it correct so these are the 10 important topics uh, these are the sorry these are the 10 uh, important tips uh, based on which you can Prepare yourself for your next senior DevOps interview and if you are the one who is looking for the help in uh, interview preparation, we are running DevOps interview preparation bootcamp batch as well. Batch 10 has already been finished uh, today and batch 11 will be started now. Uh, if for more details, you can uh, just drop a WhatsApp message for the inquiry and if you want the recorded session because some people uh, don't have enough time, correct? So if you want the recorded session as well, you can drop a WhatsApp message and we will share it with you. So stay tuned with the channel and subscribe to the channel because that's the only thing what I earn from the YouTube. So your subscription, uh, your uh, one click on the subscribe button helps me to create next video. So stay uh, with the channel and let's meet in the next video. Till the time. Thank you. Bye-bye.